These men are surveying a site they manage. They think of themselves as property developers of sorts. This is what they call phase one of a land invasion, more than 10,000 shacks. They say they're tired of waiting for the ANC to give them land. They were supposed, when they were taking over from the apartheid government, they were supposed to change the constitution, but they never done that. But they were keeping on promising, 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 but they not delivering. Now we are saying enough is enough. One of the main reasons the ANC was formed in 1912 was because black Africans were losing their land, often being forcibly removed from it. More than a century later, most of the best land in South Africa remains in the hands of a few thousand, mostly white commercial farmers. After 23 years in power, the ANC's only managed to return a fraction of the land to black people. The latest research suggests about 20%. That makes land a defining issue, and one the ANC thinks it may be able to solve if it changes the constitution, allowing it to take land without giving compensation. But the ANC says it won't go ahead with the change if it will hurt the food supply. Dan Krieg can't see how that's possible. He's been representing farmers in talks with the ANC and says many people like him are committed to returning land to black people. We want to work with government and we have funding models and we um, extend property rights to new farmers. We can actually make much, much faster progress um, if we work together. Um, I, I have not lost um, hope uh, in terms of land reform in, in any way. But from an economic point of view there are concerns over how changes to the constitution will impact farmers. If you expropriate without compensation, they would not be able to service their debts. All that, practically all that debt, or at least 75% of that debt, is collateralised through the value of the land. So that they would default on those um, uh, loans that they have with the banks. But these men believe the debt owed to them and their people is far more important. The ANC government may have been too slow to help them, but if it speeds up the transfer of land into the hands of black people, it could dramatically change the face of land ownership in South Africa. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.